Hey, girl. Hello. What are you doing, girl? Just chilling? Come on. It's time for you to get up. So, yeah, guys. This is my Avicularia species Guyana. She is a very, very big girl. She molted about three weeks ago. And I am now selling her off because I will be getting another terrestrial tarantula. You will be seeing that in the future. But as for now, I am going to be getting her out and putting her into here because the new owner of her, her new master, will be collecting her tomorrow. So, yeah, this will be the last goodbye. Or, yeah, this will be our goodbyes with her. Hey, girl, come on. So, yeah, as you can see, uh, pink toe tarantulas, they are pretty chill for the most part depending on the species of course but for this one she is pretty chill regardless and she's always been pretty chill from the beginning hopefully she just doesn't like change her mind and bite me today <laughs> but yeah this is my you see she's super big look at that she's huge oh my gosh so wait let me let me try to get her onto my hand now, I don't always handle my tarantula. Actually, I don't even handle my tarantulas. But since this is a goodbye, I will do it for you guys because you guys have been asking me to handle my tarantulas. So here is a handling video. So basically, you don't want to grab a tarantula. You want to let them crawl onto your hand. Oh man, girl, where are you going? Where are you going? Come here, come here. So yeah, tarantulas, really, there's nothing to be scared about. They are pretty much the teddy bears of the spider world. Oh, don't fall. Don't fall. This girl, usually, it is, if you want to handle tarantulas, I would recommend against it. But if you really want to handle a tarantula, let me see if she'll crawl on my leg. If you really want to handle a tarantula, it'll be best if you handle something like a pink toe tarantula. Because... The arboreal tarantulas, for those who don't know, arboreal are tarantulas that like climb trees and they live in the trees. They are much lighter than the tarantulas that are terrestrial, which are the ones that live on the ground. So, yeah, as you can see, she is really refusing to come onto my skin because I think she can detect and like sense. Oh, you don't want to go in. I mean, yeah, she can. She can detect like skin, and she's probably like. What the hell is this texture? So that is why another reason we do not handle tarantulas because they are very, very sensitive and they basically, they, they just don't like to be handled. A lot of people are like, I mean, I've, I've come across a few saying that, arguing that their tarantulas have gotten used to them because they handle them every day, handle the tarantula every day. But unfortunately, that is not the case. Because tarantulas, they don't exactly get used to you because they are, they don't have the brain capacity to get used to someone. Like the brain, like the, the I don't know how to explain, but you know reptiles, even reptiles, they, they only get used to you. They don't, they, they don't love to be handled. They just tolerate handling. So they're not like a dog or a cat, I'm pretty sure a cat would hate you to handle them, but they're not like a dog. I'll use a dog as an example because dogs are very intelligent. I will not like consider them like dogs because they are a totally different animal and they just, they don't have the <laughs> the brain capacity. I don't know how to explain, but the brain, why do I keep saying that? But the brain capacity to even think that you are not a threat actually they're just for if, you, if if i do this you're pretty much like a tree branch to them so if they ever decide to bite you which they they can and they will it is not the tarantula's fault at all so oh no you're coming up to my face and that's going to be a problem don't go to my back because it is it's all entirely your fault okay if you decide to handle a tarantula 
which are strongly against it, you are at fault if you get bit. It is not the tarantula's fault. You cannot punish the tarantula. You cannot do anything to the tarantula, okay? If you get bit, it is 102% your fault, not the tarantula's, because you decided to handle them. And they are not capable of like thinking that you are their friend or anything because they're spiders, right? They're spiders. Like now, she's probably thinking I'm a piece of wood. As you can see, they're arboreal, so she's going to climb up. And she is not biting me because I am not giving her any... Like, I'm not making her scared, right? I'm not making her scared. I'm just being a brunch. Watch this. If I put my hand like this, and of course, she's just going to stop. <laughs> but yeah, um, tarantulas, they are naturally just whatever to their environment. Whatever is happening around their environment, they will just act towards that. If that makes If that makes any sense. So... Yeah, I will strongly recommend against, sorry about my hairy legs, but I strongly recommend against handling your tarantulas, guys. Please do not handle your tarantulas. I always refer to tarantulas as like, like fish, for example. You don't handle your fish, do you? They are pretty much display animals. You just watch how they eat, you watch how they burrow, you watch how they climb, you watch how they do everything in the enclosure. You do not pick them up because for terrestrials, especially terrestrials, if they were to fall, that abdomen is very, very fragile. So it's like a water balloon. If they fall, they're going to rupture their abdomen. It's going to break open and there's, there's pretty much no cure. They're going to die. If That's why I say if you want to really handle your tarantula, sorry, you can Xena in the background, you're going to have to get a pink toe tarantula, something like this. Other uh, arboreal tarantulas, I will not ever recommend handling, although I don't recommend handling pink toes as well. See, she just got a little bit startled over there. Because others like Salmopoias, Pocotherias, those are very, very defensive and they can be aggressive as well. And they will not hesitate to bite you. Like pink toe tarantulas, they are more, I don't know, friendly. Can I say friendly? I wouldn't consider them friendly, but they just have a more docile nature. So, yeah, that is why I I would only recommend you guys handle pink toe tarantulas. Any other tarantulas, I wouldn't recommend, especially terrestrials, because they're very heavy-bodied. Like, for example, my grandma stole a polka over here. You can see she's very, very heavy-bodied, and I will definitely not recommend you handle her, because if she falls, that is the end of her life. But for this one... I still wouldn't really recommend handling, but if you really have to and really want to, which I don't recommend, then you can. But yeah, I think we have enough stressing her. We've, we've done enough stressing for this video. It's time to say goodbye to her. Let her enjoy her new life with her new owner. Hopefully the owner gives her a nicer enclosure. This will be just a temporary thing to pass to the owner. So... Yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found something informative about it. Hope I gave the right information. If anything you guys would like to add, comment down below. But that is pretty much it, what I wanted to say in this video. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Look at the fangs. Have a good one, you guys. Stay safe. And goodbye, girl. That's the last time we're going to see her. Peace.